Yo, I don't think y'all truly understand this. I dropped a video about a month ago where I made over $27,000. And the following 30 days, I reached $62,000. Y'all, I used to make that in a year when I was working. Now, if you've never heard of me, my name is Dad Learns Money. I'm an introvert who went from homeless to homeowner with high ticket affiliate marketing. And I've done multiple six and seven figures with my own online business, as well as promoting other multiple affiliate products and services. Now, my goal for this channel is to help you build an infinite passive income business and achieve financial and time freedom, especially if you hate your job exactly like I did. Now, Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie, aka Dad Learns Money. And this particular video is going to be something extra special. Y'all, your boy has made over $62,000 in just over two months selling digital products. Holy freaking... If you're new to my channel, make sure you go check out the rest of my content and binge watch it because I've been breaking down what I did and how I did it and what I did it with. All right. And if you want to learn how to make money with digital marketing and affiliate marketing, this is the place to be. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And as long as you engage with my content, I promise I'm going to keep pumping it out every single week. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to be talking about and breaking down how I was able to do over $62,000 in just over 60 days, like two months, you guys. But right quick, make sure you watch this video to the end because there's something very special I'm going to share with you that's going to help you be able to do the same thing I just did. So stick around to the end of the video. This is one of those videos you want to pay attention to. Get you a pen get you some coffee, chill, relax back and take notes and let's do this. Now, I want to give you a little bit about my background and how I got to this point. If you've been following me on social media, you know I originally started out in YouTube, but then I left YouTube and I went to TikTok. But before all of that, you guys, around 2019 and around 2020, that year, not long after COVID and the pandemic, I lost my job with all the benefits. I was making just over $65,000 every single year as a general manager at a retail store. But it all came crashing down when I lost my job. I was a salary paid manager, the sole provider for my family, and all of my income ceased overnight. <laughs> Everything I had in savings, everything I had in 401k, everything that I had worked for all started to dwindle and disappear. I could not find another job. We ended up losing everything. I lost my car. My wife lost her car. I, lost, I filed bankruptcy. And ultimately, we got evicted from our house. When I say evicted, I mean the sheriff came, knocked on the door and told us we had to get out. They put our stuff on the sidewalk and I was completely broke. So broke, you guys. I had to call and ask family and friends for money to get a U-Haul and money to pay for storage until I was able to get back on my feet. During that time, you guys, me, my wife, and not one, not two, but five kids slept in our car that was given to us by a friend so we wouldn't sleep literally in the street. Now, fast forward, I had to think of something very, very quickly to get us out of that situation. I was literally at ground zero. And that situation and those circumstances brought something out of me to where I started looking and searching for ways to make money online. Now, I was so broke and so homeless. I didn't have a laptop, but I had a desktop computer and I took my desktop computer into stores or restaurants like Burger King, plugging the whole thing up. It was an all-in-one computer, so I just needed the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse, and I was using their Wi-Fi in the store. 
building my business exactly like that. If it wasn't Burger King, it was Wendy's or it was at a gas station. And sometimes I even went to places like Starbucks and Barnes and Noble. Um, now I'm saying all of that to just to give you guys an understanding of where I've came from and showing you that I'm not no superhuman, no guru. I started out at ground zero. I didn't come from a rich family. I I wasn't highly educated. I didn't have any special skill sets outside of management that helped me get to where I was now. And I want you guys to also know that before I reached and saw any success, I lost more money that I couldn't afford to lose trying out all these different things of how to make money online. Anything and everything from drop shipping to Amazon to Forex <laughs> to you Shopify stores, everything you can think of. And guys, I failed miserably at almost all of them. Eventually, you guys, I did figure some things out. I did figure out how to start generating some income. It was small in the beginning, but then I started growing it from what I had learned using things that were working. And what I had the most success with was digital products because my situation was I couldn't spend a lot of money each and every single month to put back into my business. And I learned that digital products and affiliate marketing and digital marketing was the way to go because I didn't need any capital. I didn't need all these different products. I didn't have to deal with inventory or customers. I didn't have to pay for all this crazy software. All I needed was a link and a place for those people to purchase it. Now, in the very beginning, I was a super introvert and I was afraid to go online. So I made my sales behind the scenes as a freelancer and, and doing Fiverr and Upwork gigs. And I built a clientele of people to where nobody knew who I was, but I was helping a lot of people that you probably see on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram today. I helped launch their careers if I was doing their funnels or helping them with their website doing all these cool things from all Fiverr and Upwork. And eventually, one of my clients said, man, you're very good at what you do. You should get into coaching and selling your own products. And that's when I decided to try TikTok. I made my biggest fortune on TikTok, but I love TikTok because TikTok was a little bit unstable for me. And I kept getting my account deleted and suspended. And every time that would happen, I would have to go back and change the links and change social links and stuff like that and change my products that were linked to the TikTok account. And whenever my TikTok account would get shut down, I would lose a lot of money. And that's why I came over here to YouTube, which is kind of where I wish I would have started in the beginning, despite how awesome TikTok is, or at least despite how much everybody thinks TikTok is. Now, when I left TikTok and came over to YouTube, I already had some things going for me in my business as far as digital products and services. And I created those products based off what people were actually engaging with and always commenting or asking me questions about from TikTok. So when I came over to YouTube, I already was doing coaching. I already had some digital products. I even have a course. And then I have a number of affiliate marketing programs that I heavily promote. But I want you guys to understand this. Before I got to that point, your boy was the most skeptical person in the world. I didn't see how digital products and digital marketing could truly scale my business and change my life in a whole nother way. I didn't realize how hard I was working and that digital products can take over 90% of the work I have to put into my business and automate it. I was doing so many one-on-one -on -one calls and all of those things of that nature. And plus, I... I just was so skeptical because everybody was saying, oh, you can do this and do that. 
in an X amount of weeks, you can make $50,000 in eight days or blah, 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 blah. I was like, this can't be true. I'm literally running a business and it takes way more time than that. It, I was super, super wrong. Now, over on TikTok, one of my best selling digital products was an ebook that I had created. And I worked hard on creating that ebook and I launched it on TikTok. And I did exceptionally well with that ebook in only 30 days. I did almost $94,000. And all I did was just heavily promoted on TikTok by doing lies, posting content consistently, and all of those things of that sort. And I had a launch date to where everybody came to the live. And by this time, I had grew my TikTok account to almost 100,000 followers. And a nice percentage of those people showed up to my live ready to purchase the ebook. And over the course of 30 days, I did $94,000.